Good afternoon and welcome to Home Roaster HQ's training video for the Variac Transformer. First, you need to understand what a variable transformer does, and to do that, you must first know that the standard household voltage is around 120 volts. As you turn on big appliances such as air conditioners, heaters, microwaves, anything that draws a lot of power, your voltage will spike uh, depending on which outlets that you're plugged into. So if you don't have a variable transformer, it's always recommended that you plug your coffee roaster into an outlet that's not on the same breaker as other big appliances. What this device does is it actually has an internal capacitor to where it's going to stabilize your electrical current. The dial on top allows you to turn all the way from zero voltage to 130. When you set your voltage, it is going to make sure that that voltage remains stable as long as your device that is plugged into the outlet here remains connected during the entire roast. This works very well for a popcorn popper, especially ones that do not get a lot of airflow, such as the Presto Pop Light here, which if I can get this in view for you. Okay, this is going to demonstrate exactly how the variable transformer works with the popcorn popper. Now we do have a spec sheet on our website at www.homeroasterhq.com that goes over all of the specs um, that compares voltage set on this and the temperature output on the popcorn popper. So we're going to go ahead and set this guy to zero right now. And we got the popcorn popper plugged into the upper outlet. Either one is fine. And we're going to go ahead and flip the switch on. Right now it's set to zero so you have no power at all coming to this popcorn popper. As I slowly turn the dial up, you're going to notice the fan gets louder and in turn the heat is also going to increase. So watch. Okay, and that was a range between 0 volts and 120 volts. This specific popcorn popper is a little bit tricky to roast in simply because, like I said, the airflow on it is not so great. I've only had luck being able to roast up to about 40 grams of coffee in this particular model here. Um, we have spec sheets on our website that'll tell you if you set the Variac to 30 volts, you're going to get this temperature. If you set it to 40, it's all laid out for you guys to understand exactly um, how temperature changes based on voltage for only this specific model here. Now, another good point to bring up with the variable transformer is when you're roasting coffee, if you're trying to actually build profiles, especially in a more advanced roaster like a B-more or a hot top, you want to be able to have consistency across your roast. So if, if you're roasting one day and you have no air conditioning running, you're going to have a different current compared to a day when you have the AC turning on and off. And that current is going to affect your heating elements in your roaster. So whenever I roast on the Beemore, I always set my variable transformer to 125 volts. Now all our spec sheets on our website are also set to that. You can choose to use whichever you want. The higher you go, the more heat, the lower you go, the less heat, basically. But if you're trying to run and uh, compile specific roast profiles, you always want to use the same voltage because you're going to get different outcomes if you're roasting at 100 volts one day and then you switch up to 125 the following day. So that's a quick little overview of how a variable transformer works. You can pick up one of these on Amazon or eBay for around $50 or $60. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or visit our website and use our coffee form, and I can answer any questions that you may have. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.